how to make your first million pounds. This is the best event I have ever done. It is not all about property. This is about business. This is about strategy, marketing, social media, all of the key ingredients that you need to make your first million. And more importantly, it's all about your mindset. So get down 29th of August in Birmingham, limited spaces only. You do not want to miss this event. All my developments, everything I buy, everything I purchase, everything I do in life, Amex. This week, I'm going to explain to you all about the benefits of this little beauty. So on site today, at one of my mentor students' properties. We sourced it for him. This guy, my business partner, sorted out all of the finances for him. Got a smile, got a smile. Um, have you noticed how they're all moving? Have you noticed? Can you see? <laughs> they're all moving away from the camera, but we do have a new social media star. He's there. Um, I'm gonna give you a tour of his property. What do you think of the way Tom's dressed today? See, see what he does, see what he does. But. I wanted this property. He knows I wanted this property, but sometimes you can't have everything. What actually happened, Tom? Tell the weekly what actually happened to this property. Dave was coming for a meeting and he, he said, I'd have found him a property, and I said, yes. So I made a quick call and got the property sent over, but um, me and Steve hadn't seen this before I give it to you. No, no, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it, I was sent it the night before. You know when you have a ball and you drop it? I'd like to drop a metal ball on his head. <laughs> nice In a nice way. <laughs> Inside, room one, room two on the right, room three, room four, downstairs toilet, basement, which leads out into this. Garden is huge. Now, if you turn the camera around, please, Phil, and you can see very mismatched. It looks like there's lots of problems. We had structural reports done. We had surveys done. There are no structural issues. There are problems that need rectifying, but the house is literally going to be developed to the top spec possible. So everything will be done. Great property. Am I annoyed that I didn't get it? Well, Burns, he's one of us. He's from the area that I'm from. He is a very good friend, he's not just a mentor student. Um, and I'll say the word mentor student. He's a friend who I will help forever and a day. Um, yeah, I'm annoyed I didn't get this property because literally I own a lot in this little area within like a quarter of a mile radius. We've just been to a couple of them. Um, you win some and you win some because I can't say the L word. Upstairs, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. If you come in here, this floor is awful. It needs sorting. Um, it's going to be seven self-contained units. The plans are already in um, on the portal. Work started, strip out started. They're rearranging all the rooms because we know we're getting permission. Um, great property. Great property. We know the builders because we use them, they're our builders. And I will be giving you guys a full tour of this over the next 16 to 20 weeks. You will see this a lot because, like I said, I have a lot going on around the area, so I'll always be here. And I'm still kicking myself that I didn't get this property because Tom Warrillow, COO, showed Dave before he even knew that I'd saw it or seen it. Um, yeah, Tom, COO, blaming you for this one. So guys, I put um, a post out on my Instagram story today about the weekly. It is unfortunately coming to an end. Um, this is my last ever Steve's Weekly. And 
we've done nearly 90 weeks of consistently putting a weekly out. Phil, I think you deserve all of the accolades that you get. Round of applause. Very proud of you. You do absolutely incredibly well. Um, but obviously you're off to pastures new, aren't you? Yeah. You're on to a whole new... Um, new start, new era. N- new lease of life. Yes. Um, so unfortunately the weekly comes to an end and the messages that I've received on Instagram are nuts because I didn't realise that people actually religiously, I know people watch because I know the views but some of the people are like I don't get out of my bed until I've watched the weekly or I watch it doing this, I watch it doing that and I must have had about at least a thousand messages on my Instagram about weekly coming to an end. Um, But the weekly separated me the weekly separated me from every single person on social media in the property world because you actually got to see that I was a property developer first and that is, you know, my job. Um, so a lot of the feedback has been, well, Steve, you're one of the real ones and you've been showing us that you're one of the real ones for consistently now nearly two years. Um, I can't believe you're stopping it. Why are you stopping it? Well, there's a lot of people doing a weekly. Um, which is really cool because I'm here to inspire and motivate. But now it's time to level up. Um, now it's time to to show you guys why I am the best in the UK. Why I am going to become one of the biggest property developers this country has ever seen over the next 20 years. And the way I'm going to level up from this, because you know we always level up. Steve's daily. So we have a new um, videographer called Phil. Say hello, Phil. And we are now going to be producing the weekly daily, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday will be Duna's videos. So it'll be 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. release. We haven't figured it out because obviously we need to test the waters as well, guys. Phil needs to check how long he needs to edit, how long it takes to export and upload. Um, so we don't know whether it's 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. weekday releases yet, but it will be a time and it will never change once we've figured it out on Monday. And then Duna will release a video on Saturday, 10 a.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. So it literally will be seven days of content on YouTube. Now, if that doesn't show you the level that we are at compared to everybody else, um, then maybe I'm going to have to start producing content twice a day. So Phil's gonna have to come and watch me sleep and film me sleeping and then put that in as well. But Steve's weekly is, someone give me a word, someone give me a word. Because like, obviously it's not bonjour. Au revoir. No, no, I don't want to go that way. It's not au revoir, it's au vide de There we go. No, but, Yes, the weekly is that way. Welcome to Steve's Daily, which will be more action-packed as well because Phil has to get so much more content, whereas with a weekly, we get a week to produce half an hour to one hour. Now we've got six hours to produce 25 minutes. Um, So I'm excited. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited to see, can I keep that consistency up? Now, I know in my head I can And I don't think anybody else could do that, but it's going to be a challenge and I'm excited. So, Amex cards, the reason I use them, I use them for every single thing that I do. So, I use them to pay for all of my materials. I use them, that's kitchens, bathrooms, tiles, anything that I can use um, my Amex card on, I do. I buy my food, my petrol, even down to when I pay for tea throughout the day. If you think about it, I probably spend about £100 on drinks a week, probably even more than that actually. So I use the Amex card for everything because I like to redeem the points against the, um, the miles, the air miles. So recently I went to Dubai and me, Isabella and the mother-in-law, Rachel, we flew business class because from Birmingham you can only have business class. Um, Heathrow does first class, but I'm not traveling to London. And our flights there and flights back were free. 
from our Amex points. So if you are able to get um, an Amex card, I suggest that you do it. Also with Amex, guys, if you whatever you spend in that month, you clear at the end of the month. That's the way we do it. Um, there is things that you can do where you pay it from, I think they're like 15th to the summer, I don't even know. But what we do is at the end of every single month, the last Friday, we just clear the Amex card and then start again. So both me and Isabella use it for every single thing that we basically purchase. Brown, we've got to put some tiles on there. So basically, um, we've got the tilers at a couple of properties up north, um, kitchens having the splashbacks done. And we've got to pick the colour of the splashbacks. They're there now. Um, but because the kitchen's high glass white and it's got a wood work top and the floor tiles are white, putting white splashbacks on is just gonna make it look too clinical. So we need a colour, basically. I'm unsure of what colour to put there. But the colour will make it the colour will make it like stand out, basically. He wants uh, he, he only did that to get on the um What what? What what's what he only did that to show his attire again. Guys, rate him one to ten. <laughs> yeah. Rate him one to ten. Comment below and the best comment wins the Floyd Mayweather belt big picture. There you go. One to ten. Actually don't put don't yeah, put a number and the comments. One being the lowest, ten being the highest. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we've got to pick some splashbacks. We're up north. Big day. You're gonna see loads of stuff going on today. But, I do have a huge announcement. Yesterday was the big announcement that the weekly is no longer and the daily is about to start. But we have an even bigger announcement, which I will announce once I've made the decision on the announcement. Change the back as well. What have you changed it to? Um, sliding, patio, not bifold. Okay. And not not like, patios. Not patios. Yeah. No. Sliding. Sliding. As in the concertina sliding. No. Well, get a price on the three concertinas. Yeah. But then get a price on just the middle sliding. Okay. Okay. Whichever one looks the best We've design the, as well. The, the, it's the front windows that are changing, isn't it? Yeah, they're going down to the floor. They're going down to the floor. Um, looks nice though, doesn't it? It's changed. What something. an improvement. What an amazing improvement. Why is there a little balanced on the scaffolding? Why is the two bricks hanging on the edge? Just sitting there. Where are we, Steve? We're in Preston. Um, I've been in a while. My favourite village. The villagers are lovely. <laughs> I'm sure they've made me some cookies and some um, bits yeah. and pieces. We've got the renderers here. We've got the plasterers here. We've yeah. got the window man here. We've got everybody here today because I'm nearly there with the roof. I've got one more week for the roof to be on and then it's watertight. The size of this, um, I'm even shocked, to be fair, because I've doubled the square footage, basically. Um, I've got my own team here. I've got everybody that works for me doing other properties because I was just unsure about having new people. I know you should always branch out, but everybody here today are people who, who work for me or who have worked for me in the past. Um, my team came down from the Midlands to the roof. The roof is sensational. It is literally, you can hear the drone. Duna's already got the drone up there. Um, if we come here, we can probably see it on the, on the screen. There you go. Drone operator. How amazing that is. Sometimes I actually impress myself which is quite hard to do because I'm somebody who's always trying to achieve more. Sometimes I just have to stand back and go, yeah, I like it, I'm happy. And the sun's out. The sun is out, which is shocking because every time I come north, it's raining. Oh, actually, should we just, um, just want to focus in on him a second. Landed at 1 a.m. in Stansted and then he turns up half past seven even earlier than that one what time do you meet him Phil seven, seven. seven o'clock and he's here today dedication commitment oh 
And you know, for all of you guys that saw my post on social media where you said, where I said, um, the weekly is no longer. Well done to Phil. Well, you all thought Phil was leaving by messaging him, didn't you? Yeah. Snakey, snakey. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, if you look up there, the steel now runs the full length of the property on this side for the apex. And then if you go into that side, you can see the same steel fitted. Not the same steel, but the same steel, if that makes sense. And all the new lafts have been fitted. This house is bigger than we all thought. Today, now everything's in, I'm like, wow. The size of this, the square footage. I don't think any of you are going to be able to comprehend how big this house actually is the next time we do our site visit. So as you can see, the height. I don't think I can actually stand up without hitting my head. So we've got one more steel to tie in to the hip, I believe. I've got the drawings, which I'm going to have a look at when I get back in the van. And then this here will be the height of that there. Okay, and this wall will be removed because we have the new one there, as you can see. If you look here, that's the original structure. This is apparently the original structure, but it's not tied in. It was never tied in. Um, so when we remove this wall, we bring the new one up, we put the bricks across, we will tie it in to give it more structure. Um, unbelievable. The roof. Um, we'll be finished next Friday and let's go outside and take a look at it. We have the steel going across, the steel running through and then obviously we have the steel I showed you in the other room that runs from the whole length of the property and then we have this one here. That side of the roof's been done, this side of the roof is 50% done and it's just incredible. It's incredible to see the size, the scope and I can kind of see what it's going to look like just from this now. I know what it's going to look like at the end because we have all the CGI's and obviously, you know, we have the vision. But, you know, when you're in it and you get to see it, I am um, I'm super happy. And we was using my contractors from the West Midlands to do the main work, the extension, the steels, the roofs. Um, my contractor has literally just phoned 30 seconds before I filmed this part and said, Steve, can I actually finish the property? Can I do it all? Because he loves the house so much that he actually wants to add it to his portfolio of builds. Um, my answer to him was, if you get more team, yes, because I have 16 projects in the Midlands that you need to finish now. Tenants moved out. Um, having some works done to four properties that should be rented back out by Monday. Um, mortgage with the interest rates fixed into five years, so I'm okay on some of them. Um, mortgages on these are around two, three hundred pounds. Renting out for six, seven, eight. One of them's renting out for nine hundred pound. Um, yeah, it's a good day. So everything seems to be very like. Normally my world's very chaotic. Normally my world is crazy. The last few months it's been very like, like okay. So that's what it was like. Always this, that, and everything. The last few months it's been like that and when I spoke to a friend of mine the other day he was like that's because you have structure you have team members you have staff members and everything's going according to plan so don't rock the boat when things are going like that but me this is where like I want to buy like a lion or a tiger and throw it in the offices and just see what happens because I feel as though when nothing's happening well you know what as long as the bank account's going up and not down. Let's just smile. It's about four minutes to that tech break. Okay. But it all wants uh, injecting from outside. Yep. And uh, dry for some coating so it's a damp, damp proofing. Can you sort it? Yeah, I've sorted it all for you, mate. Thank you very much. Just do the whole house. You think? Everywhere it needs it. Don't do any That's shortcuts. Got a, yeah, no shortcuts. It all needs knocking off that tip with drawing injecting. Yeah, whatever you have to do, just do it. Yeah. Don't don't try like, then we might be able to get away with that, we might not. I'll show you how that is. Please. All over eight, well done. Right, we've got the ears, See it flashing? Yeah, yeah. That's mega bad. Yeah. Like soaking. Yeah, 
You can see it though as well. Oh yeah, it's shocking. You can see it. What can I say? You win some, you don't say the L word. But, um, house has been empty for a very long time, just sitting there. So, need soon. Yeah. But if you come here, look. I will turn that house into shabby chic. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> I know what the word means, whatever that means. The comparison was horrendous. The comparison was like some comparisons that I see online. Comparisons of the comparables. So I'm going to comparable you to Ayush. So are you two are comparable? Or is that like so far apart? Yeah. Why did you wait to see who's <laughs> behind you? Say hello to Ayush, guys. He's never had any airtime. So that is the third videographer for the circle. We have the other ones. Guys, can we, can we all take a moment of silence? Because <laughs> hard day today, guys. He's, he's back from holiday. He got back to his house at half four this morning. He met you at seven o'clock this morning. Don't know why he never took the day off. And he has an abscess in his mouth. He's got a big infection. He can't really speak. So yeah. Can't smile either, can you? Can't eat. Bad day. So it's a sad day. But he came. Look at the look at the commitment. Look at the commitment. It's unbelievable. Slept most of the way, but yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Come with me. So this property is probably a week away from being rented out. Um, patio's done. New fencing. New turf. Whole house has been rendered. Needs cleaning, obviously. It's a complete mess. You can't really see how nice it is from here because the windows and everything needs cleaning. Um, gardens. I'm doing a video on gardens today because I've gone around eight, nine, ten projects where I've had all the gardens done. People don't realise how much gardens actually cost. They are super, super expensive because you've got the strip out from the original. And usually when I buy houses or when I buy projects, the, the grounds are overrun, obviously. So the cost to strip them out and remove all the waste and stuff is, is a lot. And then the hard work that goes into it, the graft that goes into it, the guys who come, the labourers especially, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into these. So people think that you can, you know, willy-nilly with gardens, like 500 quid to 1,000 pound. That's not the case. It doesn't work like that, especially to get them to this standard. Um, so when you're doing your due diligence on properties and when you're a deal source when you're doing your due diligence and you sell deals to investors, don't just randomly throw figures. Have a look at exactly what it is. Gardens usually start from about £1,500 to 2000 and then they can go up and up depending on what you're having done. As you can see with this garden, we had the slatted panel fences. Um, we didn't have, sorry, we had the slatted fences. We didn't have the um, concrete pillars and the panels. I like this better. I think this looks nicer. I think it looks more modern. And I'm happy with this one. Let's go and look at the one next door. This one looks good as well. I like the I like the slatted fencing. I think it looks way better. Grass needs cutting, like the last one. But yeah, another good one. Happy. This looks awesome as well. Um, Simple simplicity. So we have the patio here, which is just very simple. Brand new turf. Obviously, even the outbuildings have been rendered. Ushi Baby's um, interested. It's like a new, you know, like um, Ushi's been around us for a few months now, and it's kind of like, you know, when a baby comes into the world and wants to figure every single thing out. He loves it because for the first four to five weeks, how long was it when you was in the office to start with, wasn't you? Yeah, the first five weeks, yeah. First five weeks in the office, and now he's on the road now. So he's, he, tra he travels with me everywhere I go. He's, he's attached to me at the hip, and everywhere we go, he's like, Steve, what's that? <laughs> Steve, what's this? It's awesome. It's, and, it, and obviously, guys, you can imagine, when you're around me, I get asked a million questions a day, but I'm getting asked by people who actually want to learn. Um, and when I'm around people that know things that I don't know, I'm a nightmare. The amount of questions I ask is outrageous. So it's actually quite nice. And we was at a property 
about half an hour ago and he was like, Steve, is that one going back to Brick? And I was like, okay, so we're there. But um, looks good, happy. Um, I'm gonna go inside as well now and have a look at the inside of this one. But yeah, good day. And here's Warlow, can you hear him? Can you hear him? Hello. You reckon? I like this one. Just shot a video on a breakdown of garden costs and why I believe it's important to concentrate on gardens because so many people overlook it when they're doing their due diligence or when they're doing their due diligence. Not when you're doing your due diligence, when you're doing your due diligence. Good that was, wasn't it? Um, video's out soon, guys. Great video. I love gardens and this garden is actually a very basic garden, but it's expensive and the one next door is expensive, and the one over the road is expensive, and the one two roads behind was expensive, and the one three roads behind was expensive. They cost me in excess of 50,000 pound. <sighs> expensive, expensive, due diligence when it comes to your gardens. Try to get a little rhyme and a poem <laughs> going there. Great day today. Tom has gone over to one of the property circle members who has bought a property a couple of streets away to help them with their renovation. This guy here is proving to be invaluable. Aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Say it with conviction. Yes, I am. Dean, are you invaluable? Um, I'm really sure. That's what I am. He's, he's, he's really sure, Dean. He had KFC and it just disappeared. <laughs> Painkillers and KFC. Got him some um, antibiotics as well for when we get back to the Midlands. Phil, are you invaluable? Always. Manchester, let's talk property. I'm back, part two. First time was that good? I had to come back again. Guest speakers, me and Isabella, the correct education, the correct networking. Tickets out now. I'll see you soon. Supporting the local business? Yes. H2O, I know I have a contract with you all year round, and you guys are incredible, but the car is an absolute state. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. About half an hour? 40 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. Thank you. It's not been driven. That car's not been used for about a week. So, it's just been sitting at home. But we have that there. Oh wow, if you come here, if you come here, you can see him, look. He's he actually doing some work, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a human specimen <laughs> pretending to do some work because now he spotted the camera. And the sun's out, 27 degrees. I'm happy, I'm smiling, my team are happy. Colmore Row, baby. What's going on, man? Long time no see. I know, forgot what you look like. I, I doubt that very much. Very you know me? Good day, I'm okay. Bad day, I'm okay. This is, um. You can really see the space. Oh wow, look at this front room, guys. Look at this. Wow. It's too bright, actually. Impressive, impressive. The vision was always there from the start and the team are bringing it together. Bloody hell, it, it, is, it, is, it is actually bright. So, we're having to pick the kitchens. Um, he's been trying to get me to pick it for about two weeks. Um, it's not laziness, guys, I promise. It's just that I'm so busy. Obviously, when the daily starts on Monday, you're actually going to see how much I've actually do, well, how much I actually do, because you've caught me now. Um, it's half past 10, and you think that I've just strolled into this house now and I'm picking kitchens. I have no idea what I've been doing for the first four hours of the day, but you will in Steve's Daily. 
Um, is that like a light grey? Is my eyesight just like losing all sights of everything? I'm like that, doing a 43. Like. Doesn't give a colour. You've got this. This, this is your high gloss. Yeah. Uh, that's the stone one that you requested. That doesn't come handleless, this one. That's what, uh, it's got to be handleless, yeah. But you know the picture you sent me? Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. On your matte stuff, it's in the box. Okay. See, I'm torn between high gloss and matte. I'm really torn. Um, yeah, it is. But it's very close to white. Nah, I don't. I don't want it to be too um, clinical. And obviously, it's white walls, white lights, spotlights. Everything's going to be too clinical. Um, and these ones here. Yeah, all those. I mean, you can take this with you as long as I get it. No, no, I don't want to take it. I want to pick it now while I'm here. See. I need to speak to Isabella. Yeah. Yeah, I need to speak to Isabella. Say you got a past, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can you see me through these tents? I bet they asking who is that? You seeing what I'm on, but you don't know me like that. Guys, today I'm on site of this house here. And we've got a builder on the way. Be here in about 15 minutes. They have quoted 75,000 for this property. Um, I have done all of my numbers and I need it around the 65K mark. And they've come back and they said they can do it for 65K without the um, kitchen. So, stand back, watch a master at work because I'm going to get this for 65 guaranteed with the kitchen, but maybe 62 or 61. Remember what I just said. How are you, okay? I'm awesome, thank you. How, how are you? Very good, very good. Good. How Hi. You? How are you doing? You okay? All good, man. That's really good. Take a picture before and after. Yes, already done. That's already done. done. Yes. So, the quote. Um, you come back at 65? Yeah. Without the kitchen? Without the kitchen. Okay. What was your original quote? 74. Okay. And that was with the kitchen and everything? Not without that. That was without the kitchen as well? Okay. What do we, where, where can we be at today? All right, boys, you okay? Where can we be at today? Okay. When can you start? For, what, what's your availability like at the minute? Start on Monday, how are you doing, okay? Okay. Start on Monday. You could start Monday? Yeah. We need to get to the figure that we need to be at as well as you, because obviously you've got to make money. But we're struggling because when we bought it, yep. the prices were different. Um, the end value, no as you know, was different. Now we're, we're down a little bit. So how do we get to something mutually? Because 65 without a kitchen doesn't work with our no, budget. No, I don't mind, it's no problem anything. That's my uh, really tight budget. Uh, that's the best. I can't do the loan on that. Okay. How we can't pay 65 plus the kitchen. That's no problem. It's impossible. It's isn't not, isn't nothing we can No, it's not a problem, brother, no problem. Is there nowhere we can get to? No, sorry. Yeah, there's and, and that was that with the gardens and everything? About the front you can't tarmac the driving stuff, so that'd be separate as well as the kitchen. Okay. There's no way you can save us any money? It's all really tired, windows, everything, plastering, electric, yep. keeping, it's so much work. We can't do it. Okay. Definitely nothing? Definitely yeah, no movement? 100%. 100%. No. Okay. The kitchen's going to be about four to five. Four to five grand, definitely kitchen that costs. Yeah. yeah. See, I have 20 of these going on right now. The exact same houses yeah, not, across the board. Um, 65 is just, it's just not... That's no problem. That's really not no achievable. Problem. It's not, I don't mind. No problem. Okay. Then. Thank you for coming. No problem, I appreciate no. it. No problem. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry for wasting no, your time, guys. No worries, no worries. Thank, you. Thank you. He actually said that his quote was 74. Was you there when he said it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he bought it down to 65. So yeah. there's 10 grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he only bought it down because we were saying to him. You knew the no, you knew the figures. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I've had him quote a job for me before, and he remembered. Yeah. Could see, in the way he was talking. Um, Guys, 65 grand is where this house is at. That's including everything. 
everything. Yeah. Well, you say you can't get anywhere near it. You, you got him from 75 to 60, 74 to 65 out of the kitchen. Tarmac in that drive is three and a half grand. So that's 73. Yeah, 73. Um, I don't know whether just to instruct my contractor to do it or you might find, try and find another two. He, uh, what, did, what was your feelings with him when you first met him? He's he's good he seemed a bit, he's, his work on uh, Ding Chak Chai was really good, mm -hmm. so that's the reason why we had him on yeah. the first page as well. Yeah. It's just obviously... The, the Price is outrageous. Price. Think, about what, what, think about it. Yeah, but he also didn't mention that. He said he can't do decorating as well, which he didn't mention until he left yesterday. Yeah. So that's going to be a few thousand as well. Yeah, well, that's two grand. Yeah. Okay, so I think the best thing for us to do is go back to the office and go through as many people as we can call. And I think we need one more shot because if I just get my contractor in here, it's defeating, yeah, it is the object, defeating it? the objects of what's going on. I know on. we can close it, but it's when it's starting at 1.30, trying to get it to 60. If it's like you can't 60, have them? Yeah. They're not good. Because the last guy who came, when, obviously before we went to Dubai, he was really good and then he came back 95 plus fast and it's just like... Yeah, you can't. Can yeah, yeah. You can build the house for 130 grand yeah. from the ground up. Um, so let's go back to the office. Bye bye, bye. This little beauty, okay, so I have ordered this week six kitchens, about 18, 19,000. I have ordered probably 20,000 pounds in tiles. I have ordered some personal stuff for myself, which I'm not going to list on the channel. Um, paid for, oh, I've had my box kitted out. I've had my own vinyls put on the walls and stuff, paid for them. And the reason I do it on this is because I get points for air miles. So we swap them for air miles when we travel and we can upgrade to business class and first class, like I've said before. Um, and we literally, we clear the balance. On the last Friday of every month, we clear the balance because this is not a credit card, remember guys. We clear the balance and then it just resets and we use it all month. So we use it for anything that we buy. Anything that we buy, we use it for. So guys, get yourselves an Amex card if you can because the benefits are absolutely amazing. We also get to go in all of the private lounges at all of the airports. There's lots of other benefits, but I don't know them because I only use them for what I want to use them for. Um, but yeah, guys, unbelievable. If you're spending the money anyway, why not get rewarded for spending? Me and the boys just went through Checker Trade. We called some contractors. We got one meeting us in about an hour um, at the project. Now, the fact that he can come on short notice, the contractor might be good, it might not be good. It might be good because he might be overseeing his business and have multiple people working on sites, or he might just not have any work and is able to come and see us. We'll make that decision when we meet them. Um, but now I have to pick kitchens. So I have lots and lots and lots of color choices. Um, plain piece of paper. Lots of colour choices. We need to decide pretty urgently because they've been asking me to decide for around two weeks and oh, I haven't done it. So, there are all the colours. These are the matte ones. Now, instantly, instantly, without even going in correctly from seeing them on here like that, the two that I looked at earlier are still the two that stand out to me before I even move. So that's the two blues, which is unusual. Um, but I'm in a predicament because it's a big house and we have high gloss as well. I quite like that colour. But um, I don't know which way to go with it. So any advice from people here in the office, that looks incredible in the kitchen, yeah. but it doesn't come handleless. So unfortunately, that's out of the window. So it's either those two or one of these. Now, I like, for some reason, that. And I also like that. But that might just be because I'm a West Bromwich Albion fan. <laughs> Obviously, I'll have to send these to Isabella. 
Lloyd and Ash are sitting there like, please don't put it on us, because if it's shit and we pick it, we're not going to hear the last of it. And it's not the weekly anymore, it's daily. So I hear about it daily. <laughs> Every single day, I will be like, don't let Lloyd and Ash anywhere near your kitchen. Who's she, baby? What are you thinking? What do you think? Well, the, the, well you, you've only been here a month, so I forgive you. We've called them tiles. It's a kitchen, <laughs> but yeah. yeah it's not a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what colour do you like? Which one do you like the look of? And you think, yeah, maybe. That one? Yeah. yeah, that's my favourite blue. Sorry, that's not that colour, not that grey. Bless you, mate. Sorry, Pete. Bless you, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, weekly gang, see what I have to put up with? He sneezes like 200 times down and edits it out. You know what? Whatever colour you choose is what we're going to go with right now. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> whatever you say is what the kitchen is going to be, as long as Isabella agrees. That top one. Threw you all under the bus. Okay, oosh. Take it back to Isabella and if she agrees, that's the kitchen. So what colour worktop, so that's a cupboard door. What colour worktop would you put on there? To match, like, well not to match, but to complement that. I'll go for a darker shade of grey. I think we found somebody, Phil's been here three years nearly, and he still don't know what a lintel is. You're designing kitchens. <laughs> Phil, come on. Pull your pants up, big man. Um, decision looks like it's been made as long as Isabella agrees. Oosh. If it looks shit, it's on you. <laughs> Weekly gang, last episode. I am back. Can you tell where I am? I am in my Colmore Row offices. I am back in Birmingham. Now, we have our Mere Green offices, which was our deal sourcing headquarters. TT was running that division. And because Cruise was so new, as in a month old, two months old, I kind of started going to the Mere Green offices and using that as my main office because it was closer to my house. And obviously, Cruise and Isabella are my entire world. So I just wanted to get home quicker. I wanted to make sure I was like as close as possible. And I stopped coming to these offices. Now Cruise is nearly five and a half months old. I am more settled. Isabella is a fantastic mum, but now I have to get my head back down and tunnel vision, get back to where we was heading, which was to the top, and I'm back on Colmore Row. I'm back in my offices. The team are quite happy as well that I'm back here. The team kind of follow. So 11 Luxury Estates is here, my mortgage division here, Team 11 Developments is here, everything is here. So big plans. I'm excited. I'm happy. My team are happy and it feels good to be home. Time now to push forward. Like I just told you guys, 11 luxury estates, the mortgage division, the sourcing division, every single thing is coming under one, one roof. It's coming back under Colmore Row. Now, I'm happy to be back here. I don't know how you feel, because you just moved yesterday. No, no, it's, it's closer, it's good. Is it closer? Yeah, yeah, it's just over there. That he's, he's completely <laughs> and utterly talking nonsense. What's the matter? I was looking at the Aston Martin. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, um, you live in Warwick. Oh, oh, we had a little oh, bit of. Um, oh, should we go oh, back oh. a bit? What happened there? Oh, what happened there? Wide, look. No, look, look, this what you mean? Go back. <laughs> There's no take twos here. This is the same. See, oh, you know when he's walking backwards, you just, got, you just got to direct him with your arm. I walk behind me. Are we continuing, boys? Okay. So that was a very touching moment as well. I was going. You moved yesterday. Yep. Is it further then, or? No, I'd say it's closer because it, it brings me to the other side of Redditch. So. Okay. Slightly closer. Okay. Are you happy to be back on Colmore Road? Um, yes, for the business, yeah. But obviously, we have to. It's a little bit more, isn't it, with the traffic and the parking and the faffing and the parking tickets that we both get. Yeah. A lot of. You're still paying for your parking tickets from three months ago? I'm still paying my parking tickets. I get a, they just come week. through the post and I just keep paying them. But yeah. we know we're going to get back to that. But we actually have a contract with H2O in the ball ring where we get parking and the cars cleaned every single day for a phenomenal price. And we still choose to park outside the offices, which is... Um, On us. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But all in all, Great week. It's a great. It has been a great week. It's been a great week. It's been a great week. Great we know it was the great. Too. It was the end of the um, the weekly as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the last week. 
So I wonder what people are going to do on a Sunday now. Well, the videos are out on Saturdays and Sundays, 10 a.m. So, so they're going to get to watch a video instead? Yeah, and then obviously Steve's Daily starts tomorrow, as in tomorrow for you guys in three days for us, or two days, it's Friday. Tomorrow we're at the Albion, first game at the box, which is going to be I fun. think it's going to get a little bit emotional. Yeah. I think I'm going to get emotional. It's going to be um, fun. Good food. Definitely good food, because guess what I'm having, guys? Guess what I've got the box to give me? Chicken and mash vegetables and gravy at every single game <laughs> my Isabella gets salmon and mash and vegetables and gravy and, and you're she getting gets brownie a... and ice cream no no you're not yeah you are unfortunately I ordered you brownie and ice cream yeah so you? Isabella gets brownie oh, what, you... um, everybody else can't have brownie what? they've called Claire and told her what um so what, just what's everyone else having? whatever was on the menu oh right, so okay, Isabella's yeah. the only one that's getting a brownie but great week now to end it I'm going to treat myself. But and the rest of the team. Going to treat myself. Yeah, you the one that's working for it. You the one that curved them for me. You the one that's searching for me. You the one that's hurting for me. You the one that's deserving from me. You the one that, you the one that, you the one that's perfect for me. Yeah, she a little freak. Yeah, she only do it for me. Yeah, man. What you don't know, girl, you know that I'm willing to teach. Yeah, yeah. Reaching your peak. Yeah, you know I'm the one with that reach. You know that. Week gang, it's been a great week. I have showed you that I use my Amex card for every single thing. Total spend this week on the Amex was £64,420 or something like that. I did buy a few personal items on there. And like I said, guys, if you're going to use an Amex card, make sure you clear it at the end of every single month. Now, the power of the Amex, I'm going to Dubai in October and my flights are free. Upgraded to first class, because the amount of money that I spend that turns into air miles and then I can convert that into my plane fare basically. So if you use Amex correctly, absolutely unbelievable tool to get great flights. Also, last ever weekly. Emotional? Yes. Hard work? Yes. Roller coaster? Yes. I'm back tomorrow with Steve's Daily.